if you are here for a cliche travel video, maybe come back around next time on my other videos. But in today's video, I want to talk more about the culture, the food, and the business that is growing in Bacolod. The reason why I want to emphasize on these topics is recently, I just noticed that everyone's just traveling just to get those Instagramable photos. And for me, it just defeats the purpose of traveling and nagiging shallow na yung pag-travel. I don't want to sound so right use kasi wala naman talagang tamang way ng pag-travel. This is just me sharing my thoughts, my observation about traveling. And ayoko lang na yung pag-travel is just to get those beautiful photos. So yun, uh, if you're interested in this topic, in my idea, in my thoughts, maybe stick around. First thing I want to talk about is the culture of Bacolod. Uh, in their culture, I want to talk about four points. First is they are known to be the city of smiles. Hindi ko siya ma-verify because I wasn't able to interact with them more. Medyo medyo hindi ko sure kung they're really smiling people. But but what I can verify is that uh, masarap sila ka converse, masarap sila ka usap because they have this mellow tone of voice na compared to other provinces. While for the Bacolod people, uh, sobrang malumani sila magsalita. So yun, it's a good thing. It's a plus thing for me para sa kanila. And another thing na gusto ko rin uh, i-point out is their early people. Sobrang aga nilang gumising. Uh, when we are having our breakfast dun sa pinagsaya namin, uh, the breakfast starts at 7 and probably 5 minutes after 7, uh, mahaba na agad yung pila dun sa breakfast namin. So there's that. And another thing na, na, na experience ko is yung pagtawid dun sa road sila. They are the same as the people here in Manila. Medyo hindi sila mapagbigay uh, sa, mga, sa mga pedestrians, dun sa mga other drivers. So, there's that for their culture. Next thing I want to talk about is yung mga businesses sa Bacolod. And for this part, uh, there are four businesses that caught my attention. First is the sugarcane business. Uh, sabi sa amin yung driver namin, uh, yung silay, yung silay part ng Bacolod is the main source of uh, Sugarcane in the country, sabi niya around 70 to 80 percent of the sugarcane dito sa bansa natin is from Silay in Bacolod. And the pansin ko din, there's a lot of trucks na dumadaan with uh, tons and tons of sugarcanes dun sa likod nila. Then another is yung construction business. Ang daming uh, developers na nandun, ang daming ginagawang mga subdivisions. And sabi din ng driver namin, yung mga sugar cane na mga nagtatrabaho doon becomes con uh, or converted into construction worker. So ayun, parang tinatalo ng construction business yung sugar cane business. But sana ma-figure out nila how, how it will work together. Third business that caught my attention there is yung solar farm business. Ang daming solar, eh, solar panels doon, which is good for, for Bacolod kasi before daw, uh, yung Bacolod... Uh, Sila yung kumukuha ng energy from other provinces. But now, with that uh, business done, uh, the solar farm business is booming. Sila naman ngayon yung nagde-distribute ng energy. Sila yung nagsisell ng energy ng kuryente to other provinces. The fourth and last business na nag ng attention ko doon is yung mga panabang na manok. There's a lot of area doon na panabang na manok yung nagko-consume ng space. And even doon sa airport, napansin ko, there are boxes na may mga butas. And I... I thought or sa hula ko is yun yung mga panabong na manok that is um, exported from Bacolod. Now let's talk about food. Uh, dito naman, obviously they are known for their uh, chicken Bacolod kasi nga diba inyosal chicken Bacolod. But there's a story that I've heard dun sa driver namin na originally uh, inasal is from Iloilo but, but Bacolod was able to market it better than Iloilo. So ayun, uh, from that, uh, Bacolod is known to be like the the place for Inasal Chicken Bacolod. Now here's another interesting story I've heard dun sa driver namin. But this time, this is for the two popular sweets dun sa Bacolod. First is yung Piaya, then the Napoleones. Dun sa Piaya naman, yung story niya is, originally, it came from Hopia. If you look at yung Piaya, yung crust niya is the same as dun sa hopya yung crunchy na part but instead dun sa mga normal feeling sa gitna ng hopya pinalitan siya ng moscovado that became yung piaya then for dun naman sa napoleones it came from croissant pag tingnan mo yung bread ng croissant same siya dun sa texture nung napoleones but instead nilagyan nila ng variation yung napoleones from croissant nilagyan nila ng mga matatamis na part sa taas which is yung parang glazed so pag ako mag-describe sa kanya 
para siyang ano, crispy cream glazed pero croissant yung bread. So that's it. Uh, that's just it for the food dun sa Bacolod. And yeah, actually to be honest, majority dun sa pag-appreciate ko sa Bacolod is dun sa mga stories ng driver namin. He made it uh, he made yung stay namin dun interesting. There's a lot of stories pa na hindi ko na nakwento. Uh, just to end this, uh, another story na kinuwento din sa amin nung driver namin is yung ruins. Uh, if you look at yung ruins, malaki siyang bahay na sob sobrang laki nung space. And the story behind doon is sinunog yung ruins which is uh, humingi pa yung mga American soldiers noon doon sa may-ari talaga nung place na yon na sunugin yon kasi gagawin siyang puta nung mga Japanese soldiers. So, ayun, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot of stories uh, na alam ko na is worth sharing par about Bacolod but this is just a short video and if you want to share your own perspective about Bacolod or stories about Bacolod, uh, you may do sa comment section down below. And yeah, that's just it for this video. I'm out.